So this is just a quick video. I wanted to do a sketchbook tour-esque vibe, I guess, but I couldn't find any of my old traditional sketchbook. So I decided to do something um, in Procreate. So these are just some Procreate sketches that I did a while back and kind of an ex as an excuse to use Procreate more because I don't really use it as much as I should it in the iPad. Um, so this is kind of an ex uh, a little excuse for me to use it a little bit more. So five sketches, basically. Basically, I don't find that I don't find myself finishing too many of the drawings that I do in Sketchbook as opposed to uh, Clip Studio Paint or even Sketchbook Pro. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, this is the first one. It was just a, a sketch. I think I've done this one before. I didn't like it. So after I did it, I went back with just a color pencil. It's a basic, basic color pencil in Procreate and decided to play around with that and see what I could get out of it. And for the most part, I'm pretty all right with it, but eh, it's not my best work. I do like how the hair came out. The hair came out really well. Now this is one that I've been going back to for a little while. I really liked how it was coming out, but then I tried to play with shading and blending and you're gonna see that in the face. That didn't really work out too well. Um, I didn't, or at least I didn't like it so much. So I kind of go back and correct it. I think this on and off was probably around maybe a few months starting it, doing a little bit, not liking it, taking some time away from it, coming back and then coming back to it. The overall drawing structure of it, I really like, uh, especially in the arm area, the face, not so much. I still don't like Procreate's pencils for shading, like for like actual drawing lines. They're really fun and they're really good. But for the shading part, I'm not really a, a fan of that. But other than that, I really do like it. That's kind of why this is unfinished in a way. Cause I think if I liked the pencils a little bit more, maybe I would have finished it. Cause I think at this point I'm probably maybe like 50, 60% done.
So with this one, I just wanted to draw a horse. And I think I was looking at, um, uh, I forgot what the, the Pokemon is called, the Fire Horse. Bonita? Yeah. And I just decided, I just decided, hey, let's change the pose up a little bit, play with the background, and then let's use lines to suggest that its mane is on fire. Okay, so I think this one is the most recent out of all of them so far. This and the very last one are the two uh, newest. Um, and it was just like one of those things where I hadn't picked up Procreate for a long time. And I was just like, all right, you know, let me grab a reference image and do a quick study, put it in some light and shadow areas, and then just see how far it goes. And this is one of those things where it's not where I wasn't so preoccupied with like making a really good drawing. I was more interested in getting familiar with uh, Procreate again and then, you know, just trying to put something down and see how it works. Yeah, this is the last piece. Picked up Procreate, wanted to sketch. I think I didn't have a sketchbook at the time I was doing this. Uh, ran out um, and I was just like, all right, you know, I wanna, I wanna put something down real quick and open up uh, Clip Studio. I just wanna draw it. And I think that's what I've found to be useful for me anyways with Procreate, kind of like a, a sketchbook, you know, I, something where you put down ideas, where you do studies, test things out. As you can see with this, not interested in doing the hair, not interested in doing the eyes, the other eye. This was just about putting some lines down, doing a quick drawing, and then just playing with a little bit. Yeah, so this was my sketchbook tour. I found that I haven't been doing so much traditional work anymore because digital has just become so much more convenient and, uh, and easier in a way. I hope you liked my sketchbook tour.